It's a historic get together of all of our living first ladies. The group came together today to say a final goodbye to one of their own, the late Rosalind Carter. Amber Cogliano has details. One by one, they filed into Rosalind Carter's memorial service, all five living first ladies. They took their places in the front row in chronological order. Melania Trump, Michelle Obama, Laura Bush, and Hillary Clinton. Then former President Bill Clinton, Dr. Jill Biden, and President Joe Biden. Rosalind Carter would be so pleased to see that she brought all of you together on this day. Melania stood out in a tweed coat while everyone else was dressed in dark colors. Michelle wore a black pantsuit with a turtleneck. Stephanie Grisham was Melania's chief of staff at the White House. She is wearing gray when everyone else is wearing muted colors. What, what do you think about that? I think it's very possible she is trying to stand out. She is known for not being out a whole lot. She has basically been behind closed doors since they left the White House. She may be thinking, hey, I'm out. I'm doing this with all the other former first ladies. I am, you know, sticking to tradition. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, what any former first lady would do, but I'm also going to stand out. So it wouldn't surprise me at all. She doesn't do anything without thinking it through. <laughs> Rosalind Carter's casket was carried into the church, topped with a large bouquet of flowers. Last to arrive was her husband, former President Jimmy Carter, now 99 years old. He is wheelchair bound and in hospice care, but he was driven 150 miles to be at his beloved Rosalind's side to the very end. That's her photo on the blanket covering his lap. As he arrived, he was greeted with a loving kiss from his daughter, Amy. The Carter's oldest grandson, Jason, gave the eulogy and spoke directly to the first ladies. Thank you all for coming and acknowledging this remarkable sisterhood that you share with my grandmother. Secretary Clinton and Dr. Biden, we also welcome your lovely husbands. Imagine all the people. And there was music from married country stars Trisha Yearwood and Garth Brooks. A moving tribute to a legendary first lady. And the world.